Vector analysis is about differentiation and integration of vector and scalar functions. It is the mathematics of, for example, electrodynamics, gravity and fluid dynamics, and so we will primarily focus on vector analysis in three spatial dimensions. Before delving into the different aspects of this subject, some basic concepts are introduced in this video. Points in space are represented by vectors. Each vector has three components, where each component is in itself a vector along a particular unit vector. In the Cartesian coordinate system, any vector is the sum of a scalar quantity times the unit vectors in the x, y and z direction. The unit vectors form an orthonormal set. Vectors can be added, subtracted or multiplied by a scalar. The dot product of two vectors is a scalar quantity and can be interpreted as the geometric projection of one vector along the other one. The cross product is another operation involving two vectors that produces a new vector normal to the two initial vectors. When the components of a vector are in itself functions of the spatial coordinates, then the object is referred to as a vector function. In this case, each point in space represents a vector on itself, which can be visualized by placing these vectors on the point under consideration, producing a vector field. Another important object is the scalar function. It is a function of the spatial coordinates, like the vector function, but it produces a scalar quantity. So in this case, each point in space has a magnitude, but not a direction. In the next few videos, different methods of differentiation and integration are explained.